Pescadito, it's definitely a new model. It's this super fun, like squeaky, quick little board that's way smaller than any other boards and has a really unique shape. I've never seen really anything like it. It uses a different truck than the other hand boards. It's got an x -skate truck on it with a rubber bushing. So it has more of a bouncy feel off of each turn. You could keep your speed. I mean, I could go for probably half a mile without, without pushing, just pumping back and forth. And like, that's the same feeling that you get when you're surfing. And I mean, I know that if I don't surf when it's flat and I ride these things and like that same motion, I, I don't feel like I'm sore when I go first, like a three hour surf when the swell actually comes in. We use 90 millimeter wheels on the Pescadito. They're a little softer drometer so that when you're pumping, you don't slide. You can still do some rad power slides on it, but it's just a little softer, so it takes a little more to put the Pescadito in a slide. Pescadito is like a, a normal high performance shortboard to me, down the line trying to make the section type of deal. It's really good for a, an up and coming ROM trying to get his, his pumping down or trying to feel his shortboarding skills out. I mean, especially when there's no waves and you're just trying to stay wet when there's nothing to surf. It's, it's a great thing just to have around when you're, I need to go get a workout in. It's real compact and you can stick it in the trunk of your car. It's got those holes that are cut out so that you don't get wheel bite, but they're also great to hold. They're a perfect campus cruiser because you can just maneuver around people, around tight corners, and pump to pick up speed. It works great. It feels a lot like the, the bigger ones, but it's definitely unique in its own way. Each board is hand signed and hand stickered. They all have a serial number. There's a little bit of love thrown into every single board.